from air conditioners to waffle irons. And then you pour the batter over the ladle. If it has to do with the hospitality industry, you'll find it at the hotel, motel, and restaurant supply show. Like the industry itself, the show has struggled recently, but organizers say this year is different. Last, you know, three, four years, the traffic was down. This year, we're up 100 booths and exhibits. We're growing back, and we've got a fantastic attendance, as you can see. Starn says people at this year's show are smiling more and seem to have a more relaxed body language. Restaurant and hotel suppliers say their customers are buying again. Yesterday was probably the best first day we've had in a number of years, and I've actually been coming to the show for 26 years. Suppliers are happy because every piece of equipment wears out after a while, and restaurateurs are finding out they just can't hold back on buying replacements. A lot of the hoteliers and restaurants have held off in purchasing new equipment or new technology because of the economy. And so what we're seeing is a lot of uh, renewed energy and excitement about, you know what, now is the time in which to take a look at our investment for the future. One restaurant supplier from Long's, who's been in the business 39 years, says 2010 was terrible but it started turning around last year. I think we're going to definitely see improvement in 2012. Hardwick says it's more than just selling replacement equipment. His business is also helped by new restaurants coming to the Grand Strand. In Myrtle Beach, Joel Allen, News Channel 15.